As we are welcoming back Super Troopers to our lives, we discussed it earlier in the week with Emmanuel Shrieky. Super Troopers 2 in theaters near you one week from today. Kevin Heffernan, part of the Broken Lizard comedy team. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. You bet. What is it like seeing this back on the, on the silver screen there? Uh, it's kind of weird. You know, like 2001 I, was the I know. original. I went many, many years without a mustache, and mm -hmm. then it took me like 15 years to grow this sucker back. I only have 12 hair holes in my lip, so that's as, that's as good as I can do. It's, it's difficult for me to grow something out. You're doing all right. You got a little scruff well, there. Well, this is, this, is, this is months is in it? the making. I'm, 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 am I nearing a full year with the beard? Am I closing uh, in on that yet? It's been, uh, you've had it for a long time. It's been a while. Yeah. But for Super Troopers, too, you know, maybe you can shave the beard and just go. For three. We're talking okay. about three. All right. Yeah. Right? I mean. Well, I'm talking about next week. Okay. I'm talking about <laughs> yeah. just shave and go with what you got from the mustache. So how long are you going to keep this mustache? Then? I don't know. I think, I think the day after the movie comes out is gone. So, so then 421. Yeah, 421, gone. I yeah. think so. Because, again, I, I, I'm an NFL employee. I can't. You can't have a mustache? No, no, I can't. Well, I mean, it can. <laughs> Although the commissioner himself has actually given me grief for having facial hair. Oh, really? That's actually happened. It's like the Yankees rule. I've heard but it's the Yankees rule. Yeah. That's right, right, man. You can't go with this. You can go this, so but now, you can't go this. How, how old are you? How old are you? I am 49 years of okay, age. Okay, so we are the same age. Yeah. So now Don Mattingly is a sweet spot, right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Before that, it's the Reggie Jackson. Well, I'm, I was a Thurman Munson guy. Me too. I didn't like I, Reggie. By the way, I get teary-eyed when I think Oh, of so Thurman do I. Munson. I have that Bill Gallo. You remember that cartoon, Bill Gallo cartoon? The cartoonist of the New York Daily News. Yeah, I have that on my wall in my office. It makes me cry every time I look at it. About after Thurman passed? Yeah, after he passed away, and they said they didn't want to play baseball today. I was in summer camp when I found out about that. Where were you? I was going to peewee football practice, and I was in the car driving, and I heard it on the radio, because that's where you got your news. And I got to the practice, and I was crying, and I pulled my helmet down over my head so my teammates couldn't see me crying. But, but God, I'm getting, I'm getting, I, I I'm getting upset you, now. I, me too. You're getting God. misty-eyed about I am. it, too. God. Thurman, Thurman Munson. Munson, I know. Yeah, so I was a Munson guy. I know, so you were Munson. You didn't like Reggie? I thought he was a bit of a hot dog. Come on, though. A bit the of a hot dog. Third is a drink, I man. Know. The three home runs against the Dodgers in the World Series, you, That'll, that that was it for you me. You couldn't deny that. But, you know, Munson was the gritty leader, mm -hmm. and, and Jackson was the flashy guy. So. Okay, and so Matt, but Mattingly is the guy for you, Mattingly's right? a tragic figure. He's a tragic figure. <laughs> tragic. I mean, know what you think? He's, well, he went from early 80s to 96 or whatever it was, right. 95, 96, right? Yes. And Got then, one playoff game. And then he hit 400 hit, in that playoff game. Hit a home run. Oh, yeah. He hit a home run in the playoff series against the Mariners that ended with yep. uh, with Ken Griffey Jr. coming all yeah. the way around, sliding home. What, I mean, and then they win the World Series the next year. 90, mm, that was 95. That was 95. 95, 96, Multiple right. Multiple times. Multiple they won times. the World Series after he's gone. The cap. But the reason why I bring that what up is. What a shame. I, do, I know. Well, hey, that's a, shame. a Red Sox fan. Oh, over come there. on. Come on. So, so, but you're. Carlton Fisk fan. Over. You're from New Haven, right? Are I you am, from, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that's that's kind of on the Mason Dixon line of Yankee Red It Sox. is. But when I was growing up, West Haven, Connecticut, the double A Yankee affiliate was uh, in West Haven, Connecticut. And so guys okay. came through, would who come you, through there. Do you remember who came through? Well, I, I remember well, I was a little kid and I read Ron Guidry's autobiography. Oh, yeah. And uh, he had a little paragraph in there and he said the most dismal and dreary place he ever played in his life was in West Haven, Connecticut. <laughs> And as like a twelve year old kid, I was like, "Really, <laughs> Gator?" You know, and he yeah, he's, he and put he, me down. He, and he lived he he lived in some backwater places of he Louisiana. Really did. And the worst place ever was my hometown, <laughs> which was terrible. I thought. Oh uh, well, what do you think of the current uh, team, Kevin? What do you? But I'm a, a little scared about the expectations. They seem a little high, you know. And uh, guys are already starting to get hurt. Mm -hmm. So, but you know that lineup, you can't you can't deny that lineup. So you're Nick Giant, yeah, Yankee, yeah. We were season ticket holders for the Giants growing up. Because of because of Connecticut? Well, that's yeah, because they, they, the they played at Yale Bowl for a couple of years while they were building Giants Stadium in New Haven. And right. then my family got season tickets in that time and then transferred over to the— Yeah, we're of the last generation of yeah. where Yankees are usually Giants because they played in the same stadium. Right. And Jets are usually Mets because they played in the same stadium. I feel—you like, don't think it's the same way? I think it's still not Jets-Mets still, you don't think? Uh, it kind of, you see more hybrids now. Yeah, It always I guess used so. to be because they used to play in the same stadium. You right. were the same. T but now know. it's like Rams, Yankees. Now it's like, you know, people don't it, care it's anymore. All the, yeah. so. all the way all over the map. Yeah. So how did Super Troopers 2 come back to being? Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of, we would go places and people would yell, like, quotes at us from the first movie. Right. And then they'd be like, when's the second one coming out? Right. And so for years, it was kind of like this wave of, well, I guess we got to do it. Right. And so finally, we, we kind of put it together, but... We couldn't get the studio who owned the rights to want to make the movie, so we did a crowdfunding thing. 
We did a I we raised money this. on the internet. How, how much money did you did you raise uh, on the internet? Five million bucks from Super Troopers fans. Yeah, yeah, fifty four thousand fans donated five million bucks. That sounds in a like month. A, that sounds like a political campaign. It it was a lot like that, but it was also dangerous. Like, because if you put that out there and then nobody donates, then you're done. Then you're toast. Then you have no. There's yeah. Super Troopers zero. Then it's over. Yeah. So now. People put the money in, and we went and made the movie for it. Right, them, so. and so this film is about you guys are back in the mix. Yeah. But it's, there's a, a set to with uh, with Canada. Yeah, it's a, it's topical. It's a border war. <laughs> border politics is very, very, very topical these right. days, you guys. Okay. Very big. Right. Very topical. And Emmanuel Shrieky was here the other day. Yeah. You noticed Mike Del Tufo went through some flop sweat. I, I, was, I saw it, and I, I commiserated with you because I often flop sweat about Emmanuel Shrieky. You have to. I mean, you know. She's amazing, but you're you're not you're not flop sweating now. I had a good ma I had good makeup get put on me. So okay. I'm all right. Usually, you know, I'm pitting out, flop sweating. You well, know, you guys know what I'm well, talking he, about. Well, he flops sweating take my because jacket off. <laughs> <laughs> he's a New Jerseyite over there. That guy is he a Yankee fan or no? Yeah. Oh yeah, he okay, is. Okay, good. So yeah, he, the, the Red Sox fan is out number two to one. Yankee Red Sox brawl. Okay. So, but meeting Linda Carter had to be something. Oh for yeah, you, right. Unbelievable. And you know my Playing dad the Vermont too. Governor, your dad came on well, the set. Well, my dad's been coming on the sets, and the only person he was really excited about was Linda Carter, and so we called her back to come for the second movie. And for some reason, my parents found themselves eating dinner in the hotel restaurant with Linda Carter. Hold on a second. Yeah. This is. What say what? Well, so, we were shooting the second thing, and she was shooting. We were all staying in the same hotel. We were outside of Boston. Yeah. My parents were there visiting the set. They're sitting in the hotel restaurant, and Linda Carter sits down with them because you know we kind of know each other now. Okay. And uh, my dad's sitting there, and Linda Carter, he's having a burger and fries, and Linda Carter reaches onto his plate and takes one of his French fries, mm -hmm. and you know eats one of his French fries, and I, he got flustered. He blushed. <laughs> Did he flop sweat? He flop sweated a little bit. <laughs> Because Linda Carter ate a French fry off his plate, he was he was so excited about it. So mm. yeah, I mean you can imagine. Uh, of course, if if Wonder Woman decided to help herself with some fries, we have a special place in our uh, you know our age, guys. You know, it's Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Yeah, and so now I've done four movies with her. Now we're buddies. Now, <laughs> which is amazing. It is amazing how this is all working yeah. out. Uh, Rob Lowe is in it as well. Brian Cox. Yeah, Coxie. He's. Re I mean, that's a. No offense. I mean, this is a real thespian. Oh, here, I know. Man. He did Shakespeare in Moscow, that guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's how that's how good he is, you know? That is the height of, is that, would you say? That's what he says. I would say, you know, Broadway. <laughs> like, Broadway is <laughs> right. kind of the height of that profession. It's true. Shakespeare in, in Moscow. Yeah. Well, that, he said that one night we were shooting the first Super Troopers, and it was a night shoot, and it was some crazy stuff we were doing, and mm -hmm. we were laughing and making mom jokes or whatever it is we do. And I remember him sitting in the backseat of the police car just looking out the window wistly, wistfully, you know, and he was like, I did Shakespeare in Moscow. <laughs> Whatever happened to Kraft? But now he loves, you know, he says that's this is the most recognized he gets of any movie. He's done the X-Men movies, the Bourne movie, everything. Yeah, he has. Super Troopers is the thing that people quote to him. Well, so. congrats on on uh, you getting the gang back together, Thank man. Thank you. You got it. Thank uh, you. It is in theaters coming up a week from Friday. Any other way, being an NFL employee, I cannot say 420. <laughs> Oh really? No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to be smart about it. Sure, I can say. So it's opening up. It's, it's opening up on April twentieth, uh, one week from today, and eight days before Kevin Heffernan will shave off his mustache. There you go. Boom. There you go. That's what we're in right now. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming on, brother. Thank you, Rich. Thank you. you. Got it. Check him out at, at, at Heffernan Rules on Twitter. Super Troopers Two in theaters near you in a week. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.